Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 17 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about the radio filter. And I'd like to thank George who emailed me yesterday with the idea on this tip. Now, most of you probably know the radio filter is the second tool from the right on the tool panel. And you could draw out these radio filters and do some adjustments on the sliders over here. Um, very common now. I think uh, the radio filter came out in Lightroom 5 and it's a great tool. Now, one tip I'll give you right now is if you want to draw just a quick oval, so maybe you could add a vignette to your image, to do that quickly and easily, hold the command or control key in. That's the command key if you have a Mac, control key if you have a PC. Then with the left mouth mouse button, double click on the image and you see you get this instant uh, oval radial filter. Now you could then go to exposure here and pull it down and you could get a really nice vignette on your image and it's real uh, quick and easy to do. Now most of you probably know too that down here is a little checkbox invert mask. If it's not checked these sliders will be affecting the outside of the radial filter. If it is checked you'll be affecting the inside of the radial filter. So. Let me get rid of that for a second. Now, the second tip I'll give you about the radio filter is if you want to draw a perfect circle. To do that, just hold the shift key in and draw out like that. And you can see it will draw a perfect circle. And you could then put maybe a uh, highlight someone's face, something like that. And we could check that box and we could turn exposure up a little bit and it will just put a little more emphasis on their faces here. Now if you want to do the same over here you could draw another filter if you'd like or if you'd like it identical to this filter just right click on this little button and click on duplicate then take this filter and just drag it over their face. Now you have two filters you have one there and one there and they're identical as far as settings and that is episode 7 of Lightroom Quick Tips. So I hope that helps you use the uh, radio filter a little more effectively and efficiently and uh, helps your workflow go a little quicker. I'd like to thank everyone profusely. Thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my YouTube channel and thank you very much everyone who has purchased my Lightroom presets and my Photoshop actions that allows me to do all these free videos and I really do appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Until episode 18, I'll talk to you soon.